another episode of the podcast Real Solutions. In this episode, we have Sejal. She cracked Amazon and recently she got a pre placement offer from Amazon. And the most important thing, she is from a tier 3 college. From a tier 3 college to Amazon, she is definitely an exception. In this episode, she had shared her journey, how she prepared, what time did it took, what resources did she use, almost anything and everything you need to know regarding placements. So if you're the one who is looking for placements or a first, second, third year engineering student or just wanted to know her journey, this episode is for you. So stay here till the end and let's start. Welcome to the podcast, The Exception. Hi, hi, Muskan. How, How are you? you? I'm good. How are you? Great. I'm good too. So happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Muskan. Yeah. So without a further use yourself to our listeners. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Sejal and I'm currently pursuing my bachelor's in computer science from Chitkara University. And uh, if you're wondering why I'm here, uh, actually I recent, recently got a pre-placement offer from Amazon. Uh, I cracked it off campus and uh, yeah, I'll be joining them after my graduation, uh, the Hyderabad campus. So, yeah. That was great. That- you are really like uh, inspiring for other youngsters who are aiming to be in Amazon, you know. Thank you, thank you. Like you were aiming for such a big like tech company from start or just went with the flow? Okay, so no, like I was not uh, aiming for any particular company. Like when I entered my college, it was not like uh, I have to crack Amazon, I have to crack Amazon or any particular company. But yeah, there was a thing in mind that uh, obviously I want to grab a good package. Uh, I want to crack a good product based company. I guess this particular thought is, uh, I guess, in every mind of a CES student who enters his college. So, yeah, not any specific company, but yeah, uh, I want to uh, grab a good package uh, with a good company. So, yeah, this thing was in my mind. This is a normal thing that everybody, everybody at the start almost have, but only a few of them work on it like you have worked on it actually some of them are like uh, they at the start they have these things but during the college during the entire college yeah. they just like forgot that they have placement or they have placements going on after like a third year or fourth year I understand like everyone uh, thinks that okay uh, it's first year it's second year let's chill so we'll start our preparation from a third year right. when the companies will come yeah <laughs> so how was you in academics like uh, what do you consider yourself like an average or a topper or in what category do you consider yourself Okay, if it's only a matter of CGPA, then yeah, I'll say I was among toppers. I had an average CGPA of 9.7. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, we have talked about CGPA now. Did CGPA play a role in your selection as such? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Actually, uh, during the uh, the eligibility criteria of the exam that I uh, gave was mm-hmm. that the students having a CGPA above 6.5 are only eligible to give the exam. Okay. So yeah, I'll say that CGPA matters, but only to a some extent. Okay. Like it is a type of a filtering criteria of, uh, for the students. Like if uh, if a uh, college has a batch of 2000 students uh, uh, that will be uh, sitting for a particular company, then the company can't take the test of all the 2000 students. So they put the filtering criteria of CGPA, right? So yeah, they, they like uh, let's say they'll put a condition. Okay, yeah, if the students uh, the students having CGPA above 8 or 8.5 are only eligible to give our exam. So yeah. 
students like have misconception that CGPA doesn't matter, what uh, you are doing with 9.8 CGPA or this much CGPA. So that's the truth. CGPA matters, but to some extent. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have to like learn other skills also. Uh, the only yeah. CGPA can do nothing. It is recommended that keep your CGPA at least above 8 or 8.5. That will be good uh, to be eligible in all companies. Like all tech giants uh, also have the eligibility criteria of uh, at least 8 CGPA. Yeah. So, yeah. So, when did you actually started preparing for your placements? Okay. So, uh, I started quite early. Like uh, uh, from uh, initial, like I was uh, of mind, like I have to crack a good company with a good package. So I started my preparation from first year itself. Like I was aware of all the things that that were required to crack a good company. So uh, I had a plan. Uh, uh, I had I made a plan, uh, and I started executing it from then and there only. So, yeah. so from like day one, you were like much Not day one, <laughs> uh, but okay. uh, initially like during my second semester. Okay. You can say. So how much time did the preparation take like? When when did you consider yourself like now I'm fully prepared for the tech giant summer? Hmm. So uh, as I said that I started my preparation uh, from second semester of my college. So I uh, so uh, every student at uh, today know that uh, the things that are required to crack a good package is uh, first of one and uh, only thing is DSL. You have to be really good in uh, data structure and algorithms uh, for the uh, any tech giant. So I started my preparation of data structures from my first year. I continued it in my second year. I practiced a lot of problems during my second year. I made good projects. Uh, like I uh, also worked on my projects during my second year. So yeah, you can say that whole uh, period of second year, including my including my second semester, uh, took me to be like fully uh, prepared for the tech giants. So uh, when I was in the second year. Yeah, it's almost Sorry. Only half year. Uh, yeah, you can say like that. In plus projects, uh, plus I did some internships also in uh second in my second year. So I uh, got a fair idea of like uh, everything that was working. So, so yeah. Talking about the internships you did, what type of internships were there? Okay, so uh, first in internship that I did was a uh, of teaching assistant. Like a uh, teaching assistant is a guy who helped other students uh, to uh, resolve their queries. Like I took a course from Coding Ninjas, and uh, due to my performance in that, I was uh, like given this role. And uh, uh, yeah, there the students uh, who took course of DSL uh, or of any other course of web development also uh, they posted it queries on the platform so i was responsible to look into them and help them help them in resolving them also when we help others we found a, a, a little satisfaction in ourselves that we know anything and we are helping them like we have never thought something or a question in that way the students think exactly you know? Yeah, so uh, you can say that I also have a little bit experience in teaching also. So uh, from my experience, teaching is a great learning. Yeah. Really great. Yeah. When did you got the internship? Uh, the Amazon one? Yeah, the Amazon one. Yeah. So uh, during my second year, like it was about to complete, uh, uh, Amazon came with this exam uh, called Amaze Wow. So it is it was exam for all girls uh, uh, through which they hire girls for their tech roles, uh, basically software developer engineer. So I gave that exam uh, during the month of uh, May. And I was shortlisted uh, for the interview process. Uh, there was one inter interview for second year girls. Uh, I cl cleared that interview and was selected for the internship. Okay. So, yes. So, uh, like my 2020, you like applied for it and got shortlisted. And yeah. when did the internship start? It started in May 2021. So it was like a whole year before uh, you got selected. 
And how do you came to know about it? Like um, through some like LinkedIn type things or anything else? Yeah, actually, I told you that like uh, I was a teaching assistant at Coding Ninjas. Yeah. There were other uh, students also who were uh, same as mine, like teaching assistant. So we used to have a conversation, and we used to discuss the opportunities in their college, opportunities in my college. And with that interaction, like uh, one student suggested me, like say, "Chal, okay, this is the uh, this exam is conducted by Amazon, and this is conducting uh, is being uh, conducted this year again. So you should definitely try for it." So from there, I got. to know and uh, moreover i was also active on linkedin also so yes yeah. uh, like uh, it helps a lot building a network is something you can like uh, do it and it helps a lot like if i have someone in the same field they suggest me different opportunities we suggest them different opportunities and we collectively grow with them so uh, like exactly. take notes having a like having a good network is really really important for all of all of us in every field not in just placements in everything it is important yeah like some i think like i was also uh, previously like i was also an introvert type like i i i uh, don't used to connect with others uh, like it was like some uh, like a burden for me like when someone talks to me i feel that why <laughs> but uh, uh, gradually when i came to college i developed this trait i realized that okay uh, if you you like don't wait uh, for others to reach to you okay uh, just uh, get out and talk to others yeah. like opportunities will not come sitting uh, there you will have to get out you have to will have to grab them yeah. so making connections is really really important we have to catch opportunities that was same for me even i was like uh, i was too much introverted in my during my school and during my college also i was introvert and now i also i think sometimes i feel like i am introvert but i am changing myself and i am like experiencing different things yeah uh coming to another question like do you believe in that luck factor like most of the people target it was just a luck and but actually it's not just a luck how what's your take on it it's really a good question thanks you have bring here uh yeah <clears throat> Uh, sometimes my parents also say okay say jal teri kismat achhi thi say jal teri kismat achhi thi ki tujhe ye inter ye bhi job mil gayi but yeah i will not say that it was my luck uh, like you will also have to see the efforts that i put into it that i made to grab this opportunity to grab this uh, offer so basically there are two things one is like uh, one is destiny destiny is the situation that come we don't have hold over it so uh, like you you are uh, born to these parents that it, it was not your choice it was your destiny that you were born here so uh, the other thing is that how we react to the situation that is totally our uh, our or in our control so opportunity came it was destined for every girl but how i reacted i put efforts into it uh, i grabbed it uh, i took it seriously like i made all the efforts that one can think of so yeah how i responded uh, was my choice and with this i decided my future destiny so yeah i will think that i'll say that luck is not the thing uh, but yeah the uh, how we react to the situation how we uh, yeah yeah our efforts so, are the main thing like you may have experienced a lot of like nights preparing late nights and early mornings like all these things matter and at the end it was worth it like you did a like really yeah. good job thank you How much time did you devoted for day uh, for your preparation? 
Yeah. So um, actually, I did all my preparation during my second year. So uh, as in college, it it is difficult to manage our time. But uh, uh, what I used to do do is the like in Chitkara, if you see, we don't have much uh, that study load, the not much assignments. So whatever the college work was that I I tried to complete in college itself. So uh, after coming to college, uh, uh, from about four thirty. I came from college. I I do my snacks at five. Uh, then uh, at five thirty, I will rush to the library. Uh, and from five thirty to eight, I'll sit in library. I'll uh, study there, and uh, I'll do the practice of data structure algorithms. I I I'll do devote some time to projects. And uh, sometimes when time was less, like I feel that okay, uh, like today I didn't practice well. So I also used to wake up early six in the morning. Uh, so six to six thirty. So till eight thirty, uh, or you can say that eight fifteen, like. Uh, Our college opens at nine, so we'll also have to be ready for our college. So till eight fifteen, or yet you can say I'll uh, devote my uh, time again to the studies. So this is how I manage my time. So that was a proper management. Like uh, most of the students uh, like uh, have excuses. Like I have travel time. I have travel one hour gets wasted in travel, and I can't devote much time to studying. So it totally depends on your time management and your efforts, your uh, like skills or your um, like willpower to grab the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, did you had some mentors like to guide you throughout? Not a uh, mentor specifically, but uh, yeah, uh, actually today everything is available online. So there are various YouTube channels. You can say that Love Bumper channel, Aman Thakurwal channels, uh, that provide that continuously. Their like content is like really really great. Uh, so yeah, I used to follow them uh, during my uh, college. Same for me. I like. Uh, watch Amar Thakur Wala a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's a great, great, inspiring teacher. Yeah. He's doing everyone. like a great thing in the whole education system from now. No? Yeah, the and revolution. I think uh, why it is like uh, in my times it wasn't like uh, he didn't did something because in our time he was just a YouTuber, but in now at yeah. least he had done a lot of thing like a startup also and a lot. Yeah, moving exactly. back to the topic, uh, like what were the resources like uh, you prep you would like to suggest or uh, you followed some resources okay. for learning a lot. Uh, so actually, uh, for learning things, so YouTube. Is one of the great platform. Uh, there are various good courses on Udemy also. Uh, and rest of the thing that once you have learned the course, you have grabbed the things. Now it's a time to practice. So practice. There are various platforms you can see. GFG, Deep Code, Interview Bit. Like there are uncountable. Uh, and the list goes on. There are many platforms. Get practice. You can practice on any of them. Uh, each platform is equally good. So resources is not something like uh, you can target. Like you have a lot of a bunch of resources available to you. You just have to put an effort and like uh, just start, and nothing is out of the way. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, how was your interview experience? Like you got shortlisted. How was the experience of the interview? Yeah, so uh, my interview went really, really well. My interview was really impressed from uh, for me. Like at the time, I was only a second year student. Uh, like my second year was almost about to complete. So uh, on the basis of on uh, on the basis of that level, he totally grilled me on data structure algorithms. Totally data structure algorithms question. So yeah, I managed to uh, give them all. Uh, it went well, and yeah. But nothing about projects. Nothing uh, like uh, yeah, a bit of OS CS fundamentals. I will say uh, they asked for me, and uh, the other were two uh, good questions from data structure algorithms. My interview was about one and uh, one to one and a half hour, uh, not half. Uh, it's one hour fifteen minutes. So yeah. Oh, so, like they interviewed thoroughly, like a complete. Uh, like they dive from deep dive into data structures and some other subjects, obviously. 
So yeah. it's some really... other subjects. I'll say that uh, there are uh, basically two important subjects other than DSL uh, that are that comes in CS fundamentals. One is operating system, and the other is DBMS. So yeah, like this is a last, and there's some special version. Uh, if you uh, if you could turn back time and talk to your eighteen year old self, what would you tell her? Like who is just entering her college? It, let's say it's her first day at college, and uh, not only with respect to placements, uh, like. Any advice with respect to college life or with a life lesson or anything you have learned during uh, your college life? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, good question. So, yeah, uh, one thing that I'll surely uh, like my viewers to tell that consistency is really, really important thing. Whatever you do, whether uh, you prefer academics or whether any side hustle that you are passionate about just be consistent in it it's just not like you did for one week you did for two weeks and then you leave it no if you are really passionate about it just invest your time in it and be consistent in it consistency is the that is the really 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 great key to success and uh, one other thing i would like to tell is uh, just learn to say no to people like sometimes in peer pressure what uh, we tend to do wrong things also like um, uh, our friends are, are on one side they are uh, influencing us to do the other thing but you feel that okay uh, this is not right for me uh, this is not a particular time to do this just simply say no you don't, don't just don't have to blindly follow people so yeah uh, rest is just uh, explore there are a lot lot things to explore in college just explore them uh, make good connections and do party <laughs> yeah so uh, like i would like to add on it the part you said consistency uh, some people have misconception that this person is already talented like uh, it is uh, like the uh, like they are already talented they know everything but they don't see that they are consistent enough behind their back like they really worked hard for it so it's not just they have talent they are also consistent and if you don't have talent still you are consistent then you can reach the same point as of others who have talent exactly exactly that's that's the thing i want to tell just be consistent if you are not good at uh, the, that particular thing today just take some time invest on it uh, you will be surely one day you will be surely that you will be master of it yeah. so yeah that was all thank you for being here like you gave a really insightful fact to all the listeners here but uh one uh sorry sorry to interrupt you uh the love question you asked me one uh thing one thought uh a beautiful quotation came into my mind so it's in hindi uh, but the truth is Kismat bhi usi ka saath deti hai, jo apni takdeer khud likhta hai. So, yes. It's really a beautiful quotation. Yes, okay, like, we all have to implement on it, like. <laughs> Just don't leave everything on luck. Uh, like you, uh, okay, people say that, uska to luck achha tha, usko, uska to luck achha tha. No, luck is nothing. It's our illusion. Yeah. Like it's all the hard work that pays off at the end. That's all. Thank you for being here. You have give, given a really insightful fact to our listeners. And uh, a lot of like uh, listeners have taken a lot of inspiration from you. Thank you so much, Muskan. It's a great, it's a great thing for me that uh, it is influencing people. Yeah. yeah.